Whenever I'm working on a new or unfamiliar GroupWise system, I like to check the settings on the Post Office Agent object. There are a number of tweaks I routinely recommend as well. This video will briefly cover those basic settings. When the Post Office Agent object first opens, you are on the General tab. Note the platform, make sure it's correct. Then notice this status button. Green is generally good. You also have the option of stopping the agent from here should you need to. I also want to point out this link right here that will launch the web page for the actual POA console. It's a quick way to get there if you don't have it bookmarked or if you don't have your IP addresses memorized. The Agent Settings tab is next, and it's important. Starting here, unless you have multiple post office agents running against this post office, you want to make sure you've got this selected to process all message types. And here the message handler threads seem to be a bit low. Even if this post office is performing well, I'd recommend we bump this value to 10. Uh, the port 7101 is the default, and I see that SSL is enabled. I like to verify that a certificate is configured by clicking the SSL tab here, and yes, you can see that a certificate is configured. I assume the network address section is fine if things are working at all, so let's move past that and take a look at the client server section. There are only six threads here. That's fine if you have a very small number of users. Even then, I'd bump this to 12 as a minimum. If your system is already set higher than that, you can assume there were some performance issues sometime in the past. Leave it where it is. According to the developer, the max you would want is probably around 40. You can go higher than that, but it may actually hurt more than it helps. Next is application and physical connections. If you see a value like 512 here, you can assume that this post office has been around for several years, as this was a default value several versions in the past. I recommend 2048 and 4096 respectively. There are specific recommendations in the documentation based on number of users. If you want to fine tune it further, check that out, but these are my starting values. To finish off my quick survey, I note the username here for accessing the POA web page. Then I note what other services are enabled for this agent. SOAP is of course needed for web access and mobility, and if IMAP is enabled, it could be putting additional load on the server, so it's good to note and be aware of whether or not it's in use. That's the end of my quick tweak checklist. Of course, there are a lot of additional settings in the POA, and they are all covered in the documentation, or in the context-sensitive help. You can access that by clicking on the help icon here. Don't be afraid to explore. And check out the other videos in this channel, or contact Microfocus directly, for formal training, if desired. Thank you.